Welcome back. Recently I was asked by one of the person who watches uh, my presentations as to whether I could explain as to where do the value IT, the COBIT and the ITIL frameworks fit in a typical organization. So let me take uh, an example to illustrate as to which goes where. Tell me why. So let us start off with the organization which has a CEO. And the CEO reports to a board of directors. And the CEO is responsible for the entire organization. And then we have the various departments. And the IT department. The IT department is led by a CIO. And it has got two main subdivisions, the IT operations and the tech support. Under the IT operations, you will have the typical help desk, call center, or the service desk. various other things related with the IT operations and under the tech support you have the network, the LAN and the WAN. And then you got the various uh, systems and then you got the application development. So in this typical setup, where does IT SM fit? The IT service management using the ITL best practices fits at the IT level. So the chunk of it is at this, but there are some components of IT governance in the IT aisle. So this is where the IT IL framework would fit. Next we come to the COBIT. The COBIT is, a, COBIT is about control objectives and it's about what needs to be done and it's from the governance level. The IT IL is more about how it needs to be done. The COBIT is a level higher than the IT IL and it is encompassing or overlapping with ITIL framework in some areas. The all governance activities of the CIO and a few of them of the CEO, especially where there is overlap of the IT strategy and the correlation between the business objectives and the IT strategy. this would be the COVID framework and last we come to is the value IT or the value IT framework in which we have the portfolio management, financial management and the other aspects and that would typically be at the board, the CEO and CIO. So this is typically how an ITIL framework, uh, control objectives for business and data information technology framework, and the WAN IT framework fit in organization. There are overlaps between the various frameworks. So there is some overlap between WAN IT and ITIL, but that would be very minor, almost inconsequential. There is a 25 to 30 percent overlap between WAN IT and control objectives and similar 25 to 30% overlap between control objectives and ITIL. And if I were to just superimpose the BS7799 or the information security framework and the CIM, the capability maturity model framework, since ITIL is not very good at uh, application development, the CMMI framework would actually fit into the application development domain over here. And security 
none of these three frameworks are actually strong in security. So the BS7799 framework actually fits in the IT and since it's going to overlap with this and this I would say the this would be your 7799 framework and this would be your CNA framework. I hope I have answered your question. Thank you for listening.